Alright, so I have missed a bit of video, I must admit. All of these parts have now been painted black, but under this black is a layer of silver, under which is an orange, under which is a brown, then a yellow, another orange, a silver, and then the primer. So there's quite a bit of paint on here, and you can see the, sc the silver scuffing up from underneath. This area is a part that will never be seen because it's where it fits into the hair dryer piece. So you can see the results of what I've done now is to simply set the bar in here at this end and then create a slot for this to go along to make it a little easier. Uh, I can buff with the open grill on this side. You can't really fill up much more here. So I'm going to wrap a little more Avas around here and stuff some down into the handle to fill up some of this empty space around there to help secure this pipe into place. And I don't need this one for that. It's just a matter of uh, figuring out where I'm going to lay out the Avas. Probably some on this side. And uh, like I say, buffer all that. And this part should be ready to go at that point, ready for a final sanding and then a final painting of Alclad gun metal I think will do it. I am going to fill in the seams or at least minimize them on the top and the bottom here and that will go along as I go. Hey everybody, Gears here and I'm just getting ready to seal these rings into the topmost part here. I want to give myself a little bit of room. I want to get the spread as even as possible. I've already done a first pass on all these rings. Now I just want to refine it just a little more. Get every last little bit of room out of this as I can so there's as much space between the rings as can be. The heat shrink I'm using is very thick. So the spaces between the rings kind of is not as exaggerated as I'd like it to be. That should be pretty good. So with the spacing looking pretty good, it's just going to be a couple drops in between each one. And don't get me wrong, the spacing's not perfect, but it's not too, too bad either. Yeah, the move, it starts at midnight, and then it gets into the Science Center at like 7.30. There we go. Couldn't do that on camera, unfortunately. I got a really good tight fit at the top, just about. Fortunately, it's still mushable, and let's freeze it in place even. 